Hello everyone, Ricetime911 here, and today in this tutorial, I know some of you requested, we're going to be looking at a little bit of how to work with Blender and select mesh and separate it into a new object. So basically this would come in useful if you want to say separate wheels from a mesh so that you could have them turn or animate or for whatever reason or let's say you wanted to have the hood separate so that for instance with farming simulator or for other games and modding you could have the hood open with an animation or something well basically what we're going to go through in this tutorial is just a little bit of working with models and how to separate objects so that they can be worked with outside Blender a bit more easily. Okay, or in Blender too. But let's get started. So for starters, if we want to say separate this hood so we could have it open up or whatever, what we would first want to do is find out which piece of the object has that hood in it. So usually first time you click on it, it will select the area with the hood and then when you go into edit mode you should be able to select parts of the hood, the faces of it, that make up the mesh. If you can't then try going to a different object. And for the sake of this tutorial, keeping it brief, I'm going to guess you know how to work with Blender, move the camera around, that sort of thing. And if you don't, then check out the description. There will be a link there to a free course. It's Blender Basics in under two hours. It's really useful. Help me to get started in Blender. So yeah, moving on from that. Okay, separating the hood. How would we go about that? Well, perhaps the most important part of separating something is selecting what it is that you want to separate. So, what we would have to do is go ahead and select, in one way or another, what it is we want to separate. Now you can do this manually, I like to call it, going shift and right mouse button, clicking across all the faces that you want to select, and this could take a little while, but it's one of the more precise methods. Another method you can use is selecting linked, and this works really well on some models, perhaps not so well on others, but pressing L, you'll select linked mesh. So it'll select a whole area of mesh that's connected at once. And yeah, that's really useful, especially on models that are set up like this, where everything's modeled and sort of different objects sort of thing. But, yeah, using L, you can just try it, see if it works good for you. If not, there are other methods. For instance, Circle Select Tool, it can speed up the process. process. It's a little bit like the manual method in that you got to select each thing manually, but you can select more in less time. So with the Circle Select Tool, just go ahead and select what you want to separate. And you can go ahead and right click in whatever else you want to include. And here's the important part when you want to separate the mesh, you just press the P key, selection. You can also separate by material, but we'll just be going through selection on in this tutorial since I understand that best. Okay, so P, selection, that'll separate the hood into a new object which can then be manipulated, moved around as its own object. And one important part of the object now is making sure the origin, and that's under the tools menu, and then under the edit tab, you would go to here, set origin, origin, usually you would go to center of mass, volume, or surface, or whatever works best for you origin new geometry and that will center the origin more to the mesh than previously. 
Okay, another method you can do if you need the origin to be in a specific place is you can set origin to 3D cursor and yeah, you can just move the 3D cursor wherever it is you need the origin. And let's say you want the origin right about there. Well, then you just select your object, the hood, set origin to 3D cursor, and then origin would be there, and that's where it rotates and translates around. Um, for instance, with this hood, that would be useful at the end, set origin to 3D cursor, so it would open more normally. For instance, when the origin is over here, it, yeah, it doesn't work so well. Okay, but either way, that's the basics of separating an object. We'll just work with it a little bit more here. Now, let's say you have an object like this, and you want to separate, let's say, this here antenna. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Now, when you have an object here that's on top of another separate object, so you don't have the danger of selecting mesh you don't want to here on the trunk, for instance, one method is to go Z wireframe and then the B select tool or C select tool, whichever works best for you, and then just manually select all that mesh. Or again, you could just select linked L and keeping your cursor over the area you want to select, just press L and you can select the antenna pretty quickly that way too. Alright, so that's just a little bit of how I work with objects in Blender, separating them by selection. And yeah, making them easy to work with in other programs or even within Blender. And again, another important part is to make sure your origin is proper, so origin to geometry. Like for instance, when the origin was over here, it's a weird way to work with, but when you put the origin to geometry, it's a lot easier to work with. So there you go, that's how I work with separating objects in Blender, and the like. And yeah, getting objects as their own separate object, or mesh as its own separate object. So, I do hope this tutorial was able to help you in some way. If it did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Blender tutorials. I have one coming on selection methods and the like, and possibly one on joining objects as well, and other basic tutorials that should help out anyone who's new to Blender. That'll be all for now, and I do thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.